Hey guys. We're just out for a walk right now in our uh, hay field out in the open. A little bit windy out, so I'm kind of suffering through this with no gloves on. If the wind is bad, I apologize for the for the sound. Ray, you want to say hi? Fran, say hi. <laughs> We're just out for a walk. Came to check out the pigs. See how they're doing on pasture. Um, yeah, give you guys a little tour of the hay field here. You guys a tour of the hay field and uh, kind of explain how we how we harvest our hay. So the wind is probably really bad. It's it's really cold. I don't even know what the temperature is today. But here's uh, you can see it looks like we didn't take any hay this year, but we actually did. We uh, we limit ourselves to one cut of hay. Um, some farmers take two cuts of hay in a year. They'll they'll harvest one cut in June and then take a second cut later on months later usually in August uh, we don't do that we find that it severely shortens the longevity of your hay crops so the life cycle of the hay crop typically is five to six years if you take two cuts a year it almost cuts it in half so you get down to three years of hay out of a field before you have to disc it under and reseed it. So we keep our hay harvests to one per year. And we usually, you know, get a pretty good crop of hay off a small area, you know, three bales to the acre. And that's big round bales, you know, 1,500 pounds. So anyway, we're out here just looking through the hay crop. You can see we get, and it also, the, the uh, benefit of doing a, a uh, single hay harvest is that you get a lot of regrowth and that regrowth acts as a snow catch and it, uh, you retain a lot of moisture in the field when you do only the single, single crop of hay. So this was, this was conventionally farmed. Oh, yeah, hi, hi. This was conventionally farmed. Um, I believe this is our second year in hay. Uh, it was conventionally farmed for, for a better, better part of the past two decades, but we've uh, turned it back to hay so that we can grow and harvest our own feed for, for animals. That pile of straw is one of our mangalitsa boars. Yeah, view of the farmyard. A lot of it is obscured by trees, but you can kind of get the idea. Anyway, that's just a quick snapshot of our hay field and how we how we harvest hay around here. If you uh, if you want to see more videos, obviously it's pretty sparse and and uh, not very uh, not very often that I get a chance to make a video. So I'm going to try and do better. Um, Jess and Mallory kind of uh, spurred me on, my spurred on my inspiration to start making more videos more often. Had fun on the, their, their live, uh, the live stream with them the other night. So hopefully we can keep uh, keep you guys informed on what's going on in the farm. All right, till the next video. Wave everybody. Wave everybody. Bye. See you guys next time.